five market research questions to ask before launching your startup. If you're planning on launching a startup, you need to take the necessary steps. One of them is doing market research. This presentation will go over five market research questions before you make the launch happen. It's always a good idea to gauge the market and see what you can get out of researching it. The deeper you go, the better. So now it's time to ask the vital questions that will make or break your startup. Let's dive right in and start now. The first question is, who is your target audience? You need to have a clear understanding of who they are. If you don't, it will be impossible to create products or services that meet their needs. Start by identifying who your ideal customers are by demographics. These include age, gender, location, and income, among others. You should also include psychographics, such as their interests, values, and behaviors. The deeper you go, the more information you'll have at your disposal. It will help pave the way for building your ideal buyer's persona. The second question is, who is your competition? This will give you a good idea of who they are. You will also need to know about their strengths and weaknesses. It would also help getting to know their pricing strategies and marketing tactics. The plan here is to identify the gaps they might have in the market. From there, you can fill those gaps and put yourself ahead of the competition. It's also a good idea to construct your unique value proposition. What is it that will set you apart from the competition? Like market research, doing competitor research will give you an advantage that will give you the leg up when launching. The third question to ask is what the industry trends are. Knowing the trends, innovations, and technological advancements of your industry will be key. This will help you identify what are considered opportunities and threats that may stand in your way. You'll want to stay up to date on several changes. This can include your customer's behavior, buying habits, and preferences. For example, the COVID-19 pandemic caused a major shift in consumer behavior. We're witnessing more people shopping online compared to going to brick-and-mortar stores. This can be huge for a startup that intends on running 100% digital. The fourth question is, what is the market size and potential? This will give you an idea of how much of the market share you stand to acquire. You may want to research the total addressable market, which includes the number of potential customers. From there, you can narrow it down to the serviceable addressable market, which is something you can realistically target. That's when you find out what market share you stand to capture along with the potential revenue you can get. Of course, you also need to know if there's a demand for the product or service. It should also help to determine if your idea is financially feasible. The last question is how can you test your idea? You want to test the idea by performing certain tasks such as focus groups, surveys, and even interviewing potential customers. You will need to get their feedback, which will be monumental in your decision to go forward with the startup launch. A soft launch will be a great opportunity to test your product or service. That's because it's done in a controlled environment. Once you have enough data, that's when a decision needs to be made. We hope you enjoyed this presentation. Be sure to check out more on Growing Your Startup soon. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.